Hey everyone, welcome to an application of logarithms. Uh, today we're going to be talking uh, about an example with decibel sound. Uh, the decibel is defined as d equals 10 times the logarithm of i divided by i sub n. Uh, d is referred to the decibel level, db for abbreviation. i is the intensity of sound in watts per square meter. And i sub n is the intensity threshold of the least audible sound a human can, he can hear. And that is this right here. That's the least amount of sound we can hear, watts per meters squared, 1 times 10 to the negative 12. Now, if i equals i sub n, that's an n here, I made a typo, then the decibel is going to be 0 dB. Now, when we talk about things that have sound intensity or decibel levels, one of the big things that you guys look with is like an iPod, okay? And the, the sound intensity there on an iPod is equal to 1 times 10 to the negative 2, okay? Which means that the decibel level, the de in decibels, that's about 100, okay? And compare that to a jet engine, okay? The sound intensity SI would be 1 times 10 to the third, okay, and the decibel sound there would be 150, okay. So uh, we're going to look at one specific example of a decibel, uh, decibel sound. So uh, let's get to that example. So suppose you have seats at a convert. How about a concert? Oh, Mr. Bennett, typo. A concert is given by your favorite musical artist. Calculate the proximate decibel level associated with the typical sound intensity given by I equals 1 times 10 to the negative 2. So um, what we're going to first do is we're just going to write our equation so we have it. So the decibel equals 10 times the logarithm of I over I sub n. Okay. Now, we know what I sub n is because that's the least amount of intensity we can hear. So we're looking for d here, right? So we're going to have 10 times the logarithm, okay? And here's where we get, we're going to go ahead and substitute what we know. We know that our intensity is given by 1 times 10 to the negative 2, okay? We're going to divide that by our least intensity that we can hear, 1 times 10 to the negative 12, okay? Oops, negative 12, small to right there. Okay, so we go ahead and substitute. So there's our equation. We substitute. Now comes the, the simplification of this. Now, remember that when you divide two numbers with the same base, you add their exponents, or excuse me, you subtract their exponents. Okay, so we have 10 times the logarithm, and it's going to be 1 times 10 to negative 2 minus 12 is negative 2 plus 12. That's just going to simplify into being 10 to the 10th. Okay, 1 times 10 to the 10th. Okay, so that simplifies. Okay, and we have a, a log base 10 here of 10. So using our properties of logarithms, uh, this is going to simplify to be 10 times 10, right? This base is 10. It'll simplify with this, and we're just left with that 10 here. So 10 times 10 is 100, okay? So the typical sound level on the front row of that rock concert is going to be 100 decibels. So that's an example of using the, the application of a logarithm using the decibel sound. So if you guys have any questions or comments about how to use this formula, uh, type them below. We'll see you next time.